Alright, welcome to Inscription. So, in case you guys didn't catch the stream the other day, we actually streamed the demo of Inscription. And... It... I, I quite enjoyed playing it. It was very interesting and different. And once you start playing it, you kind of easily get the hang of it. And I figured, why don't we make kind of like a series of this? We'll see how far we go. If we can really escape from wherever in the hell we're being held captive at. So I have I've no idea if it's going to start us off from the very beginning or continue where we last left off from the demo. Inscription. I think it's gonna start us off back from the uh, the beginning. <clears throat> oh yeah, hello, creepy dude. Yeah. Another chapter in the ages. Perhaps you've forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Oh no, I remember. I played it just a little bit ago. Play this whole card. Now, play your stupid. Stoat. My stoat. <laughs> my stoat. An honorable death. Play the stoat. We'll require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell, pad your turn. And commence combat. Your stoat stands in st um, Opposed. I almost said unstoppable. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. One. Your stoke will be one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you took my side all the way down. Look at this. My turn. Your stoke stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt one. Dealt two, two damage to your stoke. <laughs> that means your stoke's health is two less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. Squirrel! How do you? I mean, technically, I don't... I'm just, yeah. Because you are learning, I will pass. Again, the choice of random card from your deck with the certainty of a scroll. We'll do this, and that way I don't have to actually sacrifice my stoat. The wolf demands two sacrifices. Let's see if I can. Four damage dealt. Four wins on the scale. Let's see if I can actually win this without sacrificing the stoat. <laughs> you won this match. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. They won't all be so easy. Look how many toxies. Mm. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. <laughs> Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. The odd. I constantly keep trying. I can't. I always read Caustic Adder as something else. The, the Caustic Adder damage from its poison bite is always lethal. The Undying Cat sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. T -t -t Touch of Death. When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. Perishes. When a card bearing this sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. I still think that that would be good. Another creature joins your caravan. Come, I said carnival. It joins our carnival. Some of the creatures of the forest seem willing to follow you. You came across.
across an abandoned sack. He found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of an emergency. And have a second. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. We're gonna be pulling some teeth tonight! <laughs> Three is as much as you can carry. That's how you say. <clears throat> you are ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. Oh no, not the rough terrain. <laughs> you didn't sacrifice me? How kind. Maybe you'll- Oh, I don't know why I'm reading it like that. <laughs> Maybe you will play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Squarely square. Square, 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 square. Hmm. Mm, no. Well. Actually, yes, because then I can bring that and sacrifice that. Put it in there. Here we go. And then I'll draw a, a squirrel next time to, to summon the river snapper. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Okay. Stick that there. Stick the river snapper. Go. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Ha. My bat flew right over your stoat. ones I think fear not the beast is sacrificed but not removed from your deck Yeah, so this is pretty much just a like a like a sacrificial card game type of thing. All right, and we should win. No. There we are. You prevail and tr and trekked onwards past the now bloodied terrain. Why is it bloody? Uh, why is it bloody? The young wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. The meek sparrow, an inexpensive if feeble flying creature. <clears throat> so last time I did get the sparrow, but like fledgling, a card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn of the board. Airborne, a card bearing the sigil will strike an opponent directly, even if there is a creature opposing it. I, I the sparrow did kind of come in handy for our card, even though we never really got to use our card during the stream so I'm gonna go ahead and go with that one <coughs> you stumbled into some strange stones in the mist you are compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice one that will be one that will be lost forever sparrow you looked upon your mengery and selected a healthy host stout what an honor. My flying stoat! A ghastly spectacle, spectacle, but the soul of the sparrow now lives in the stoat. It's very dusty, or are these like all lost souls that are floating around everywhere? <laughs> very concerned. Mm. I guess I died last time. Behold my totem. It increases my chance cards. Canine cards with the airborne sigil. Oh man. <laughs> You see, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Mm. 
I right, see so put him there. Back on the board. My totem is granted my kai the power of flight. Definitely were not meant to win this one. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mediate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from the top of the barrel inside beside the door. Okay, okay. Whoa, 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 there was just a hand there. I saw that. Bring it here. I saw the frickin' hand. Now sit back down. I saw the hand that was there. Let me explain something to you. My candle! That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Must? Do you have to? Can't we just have a nice card game? Now where were we? <clears throat> uh, yeah. The Proud Wolf. A vicious contender. Cat and Sparrow. Let's get... Another sparrow to replace the last one. We'll go to the campfire. <clears throat> you came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation. They huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire that will enhance its power, another said. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, say the stove because I. He definitely needs. I, I do want my stove to be powerful. The fire warmed the poor stove, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached for it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, he pulled the stood away from the fire and left. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like too too many times of putting maybe the same animal there or trusting them will they'll eventually eat your animal or something. A grizzly. Barrow. And yeah, there we go. <coughs> I was flying. How though? Cat. Should have gone with a squirrel. Hmm. Squirrel. Break that. There. Three. Do that. I don't want to die again, so like, you know. There we go, there we go, there we go. We're, we're doing good, we're doing good. There is a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. 
be silent or I will tear you to shreds. <laughs> this spot? You sure? I mean, there's nowhere else for me to put you on the board. I'm sorry. <clears throat> we went anyways. Uh, I feel like we should go this way. Get some more stuff in the bag. An adder. The conniving raven. A blight upon the skies. You were... You reviled skunk, or the reviled skunk. <laughs> the, its stench reduces the strength of an enemy. Go with the skunk, because we already have a couple flying creatures right now. <clears throat> if you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Choose one. Go with the skizzers. It's bleeding. Yields three blood if you can ignore the bleeding. Goat! Feeling overburdened enough with the full three items you carried on. Mm, no. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Yeah, Twas the prospector! Oh gosh, this dude again. Doing the prospector again? Easy boss. The mule's key. Okay. Yeah, so see, what I think during the stream, I didn't pull the stoat, so it never told me that the that the mule was the key. Or if it did, I, I didn't see it. So all we have to do is take care of the mule. them cards. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. Just turns everything into gold. Gold! I've struck gold! I've got like nothing. Yay. Get him! down and we'll use the squirrels as like <laughs> defense because <laughs> we need to try to I don't want to have to use I mean I might just have to you can't cut that it's too thick well damn cut that one then I don't 
don't have any other cards, so... more. I won't be killing you quite yet. You damn straight! Ooh, I got an achievement. Miner's Ban. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Let's see what you got for me. A Gek! The uninspiring Gek. Perhaps you could find a use for it. You don't got any, any blood to summon it, so that's nice. This level of brutish strength needs to no explanation. Uriuli. Looks like a yitty. Strange larva. A largely unimpressive specimen. It's got the thingy. So, I'm sure the strange larva will come in handy. Meaning, like, like, like it'll eventually be a decent card. With the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Hmm. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands.